It really feels like the Xbox just cannot catch a break at the moment. Whether it's buggy and disappointing releases, multiple game delays, frame rate issues, acquisitions being blocked, or underperforming console sales, being an Xbox fan feels really tough at the moment. And look, we all know that Game Pass is the greatest value for money in gaming at the moment. To this day, I still can't believe that such a service exists at the price it does. But while it's a great service, its value seems to diminish with each new disappointing release. Sure, we've seen a couple of minor successes with Hi-Fi Rush, but it's really missing that AAA 10 out of 10 game at the moment. I've seen a lot of talk recently about Starfield being the last chance for Xbox to deliver before we see a mass exodus from the platform. And while I do think that this is somewhat true and will certainly have a temporary impact on Xbox sales if it does disappoint, I feel as though Xbox may have one more trick up its sleeve which could potentially save the platform from certain death. And that's Hideo Kojima. Whether you're a fan of Kojima or not, there's simply no denying that the guy is a household name in the gaming industry. He created one of the biggest gaming franchises ever with Metal Gear Solid, consistently earning high review scores for each entry. He was also behind the cult hit PT, arguably the most successful demo ever made, which inspired a huge trend in the horror genre for video games. But let's address the elephant in the room, Death Stranding. Like it or not, Death Stranding was certainly a divisive game. I eventually came to love Death Stranding, but it certainly took me a while to do so, and I would be hesitant to recommend the game to a broad audience, as it's certainly an acquired taste. But the biggest praise I can give Death Stranding is that it had a real sense of originality, and perhaps that's exactly what Xbox needs. When I think of Xbox, three gaming franchises come to mind, Halo, Gears of War, and Forza. I know Xbox have had some successful titles outside of those three, but they're still the flagship titles for the platform to this day. Yet aside from the continued success of the Forza Horizon series, Halo and Gears of War haven't had the most commercial and critical success in recent years. When Kojima announced that he had partnered with Xbox and Microsoft, he mentioned that their cloud technology would give him the opportunity to make the game he has always wanted to make, suggesting that this one's been in his mind for a while, but has just been held back by technology. What Kojima's idea is, is currently anyone's guess, but you can be sure that it will at least be something unique. The most notable use of Microsoft Cloud technology in gaming was with Microsoft Flight Simulator, which used Microsoft Azure to provide over 2 petabytes of world map data taken from the cloud on demand. To put that into perspective, 1 petabyte is equivalent to 1000 terabytes of data, so whatever Kojima is working on could potentially be huge in scale. Open world games are currently one of the most popular genres at the moment, and while I have my criticisms of the genre, Kojima has certainly fallen in love with it based on his last two major gaming entries, those being Death Stranding and Metal Gear Solid 5. So I expect that we could potentially be seeing an open world game of some kind which takes advantage of cloud tech. However, the real question is, how long will we be waiting for this game? In his announcement video, Kojima expressed that it could take some time to make, and considering he's currently working on Death Stranding 2, and that this announcement only happened in June 2022, this game could still be a ways off. Starfield is set to release in September this year, so if it does bomb upon release, will players even bother coming back to the Xbox after such a long time? And speaking of Death Stranding 2, it will be interesting to see if that game is received better than the first one. As if not, then perhaps anticipation for a new Kojima game might not be what it once was by the time we start seeing trailers for his new game for Xbox. But to end on a more positive note, the Xbox still has a lot of studios under its belt, working on new video games for the platform, so who knows what will take off. And whatever Kojima does come up with, however weird and wacky it looks, I know I'll be giving it a go. Perhaps it will be Metal Gear Solid 6. Haha, <laughs> unlikely.